Tracy from Launch Tech Made Easy. Welcome to this week's tech tip. Now today I'm going to show you how to change this little icon right here on your tabs. It's called the favicon. And I'm going to show you how to make sure that that icon is that of the brand that you want it, that you represent your website. So if you look over here, you'll see this one is my website and it's those little gears. This one has the lead pages icon, and that's because this is technically a lead page. It was created with lead pages, and even though you can see here it's hosted on my site, the lead pages favicon is the default. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and, and fix that. Now if you go on to lead pages, this is, these are some of the pages that I have there. The page that we're looking at is called the ESP comparison video, and then Tracy looking, which is the descriptor on it. And this is, you can only do this easily if you are using the lead pages drag and drop um, editor when you create the page. So that's, it, it's blue here. These green ones, those are the standard lead pages templates and it's a little bit more difficult. We're not gonna talk about that today. So if you, your lead page has been done in drag and drop, you'll have the blue icon, you click on it here. The one key to the uh, favicons too is this is an image that I've scaled down to be very, very small. I think it's 12 by 12 is the size that they want you to have it. So you may need to resize the image you wanna use before you can use it as a favicon. So this is the lead pages drag and drop editor. And if you've used this before, you'll see over here on the left side are all of your different options. And you can click through and you'll see there's widgets, page layouts, page styles, and your tracking, okay? So you're going to go here to your page styles and down here you'll see favicon. So click on that arrow. You can choose your image. Now this will show you all the images that you already have. And you'll see here it's showing you only the images that you have that are too small. So, or that are, I'm sorry, that are small enough. So if you don't have an image that's small enough to be used as a favicon, you're going to have to make yours. Here it's, it says it's 30 by, 32 by 32 or 16 by 16. It also has to be saved as a .png or a .ico image in order for it to work. So any of the images that you have, and you can upload a new image here if you want to look on your computer and, and upload it here. But then once it's uploaded, it'll show here. You click on that, and then you can add... and insert it. You'll see now that the favicon shows up right here, update. And it's saving, you can see it's working over here. But then it, when I refresh this, there's the favicon. So that's how you change the favicon in the lead pages drag and drop editor. I hope you found value in this week's tech tip. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. And if you have any questions or you would like to see a tech tip in the future about a specific topic, please be sure to go to Tracy at launchtechmadeeasy.com and let me know. Or pop a comment in below the video here and let me know what your question is and I'll be sure to answer it on a future episode. Bye-bye.